I got see the lip gloss I'm wearing right now is the combination I got um Fenty and Sephora. Yeah, I have lip gloss now. Uh, lip gloss fits me. I'm a beauty. <laughs> Guys, Sephora is doing sales. Twenty percent of everything you bought. Hey God. 20% of everything you buy <laughs> everything in store and then um 30 percent of sephora products yeah Christmas in advance. I know I mentioned in my last grocery order I was going to go to African store to pick up some things. Yeah, I am back from African store and I also went to Walmart to pick up a few things. So let's do a quick haul and you guys will watch me arranging these things. So I bought. Okay, let me bring out the receipt first. So this is Indomie noodles. It is twenty six dollars. Um, malt and Durian malt, although it's not got back in it, but it's really nice. And that is um thirteen fifty. Wow. Wow. This thing is cheaper in Walmart. In Walmart is one dollar twenty. How did this? I'm returning it. I'm going to go and buy it in Walmart. What is this? I can't believe this. This is thirteen bucks. I thought it was seven. That's bad. I bought plantain chips. Plantain chips five seventy two dollars. I bought gizzard, two of them is 10 bucks. I bought yellow pop, this is 12 dollars. Mama Ijebu, very expensive because it's just, I mean, it's inside four and it's 20 dollars. This is smoked turkey and it is 20 dollars. Smoked turkey is very delicious. Very, very delicious. This is Shaki $22.18. I bought yam. Yam is very expensive in Canada, but yam is 
$42 and I bought four pieces of plantain that was $5 and from Walmart I bought coconut oil because I'm coconut rice this is my um, body cream this is what I've been using because it heals it helps my body during the cold season I bought oyster sauce and I bought this this is rice this is not the rice I usually eat I I eat something called by a brand called grace but I went to like four places two superstore and Walmart African store they do not have grace for some reason grace is very scarce I don't know I know the annoying thing is when I was in Walmart I was just merry-go-rounding walking all the hours because one of the staff checked online and be checked their whatever whatever and said there is grace rice that there is 24 left in stock and then I went like the third time okay like that was like second time after i've gone around all the hours and i still did not see grace rice i went to another worker that said i should go and call the person that told me that there's rice that the person should come and look for it herself because she told me a an hour number and i didn't find it and i, I checked with another worker i did not find grace until i went to go and call that person and by the time she checked around and saw that apparently Grace is sold out. So she said that that 24 pieces that she was seeing is from the morning. So apparently they've sold that 24 pieces as at morning and now. Which is very annoying. So I've never tried this before. They have a bigger bag, but I didn't want to um waste money on $25 or 10, 10 kg bag of rice, I think. So I bought the small one, so it was like $5. I saw the US that one time before dollar became a big deal. I used to eat in Niger par excellence. I wanted to buy the rice, but it was about the same kg with the was the same kg with almost the same kg with what do you call that thing? With grace and it was thirty seven dollars. I'm like, nah. Because that's like times two of the price and it's just two different two kg difference. So, I would manage this deal, let's say next week, where I'll go and find Grace again. If I don't see, I'll just buy that pie accident and move on with my life. Well, if this one is not good, yeah, that's when I'll move to pie excellence. But if this one is good, this one will always be available because it is Superstore's brand. So, they always have it, unlike an international brand like that, Grace. Anyways, enough of me rambling. Let me of all of this situation here and i'll show you in another video something else that i want to show you
power to the vlog. What your problem? Say hello to the vlog. So I had to run away. Of course. <laughs> I caught her. Of course. Say hello to the vlog. Hello. Let me vlog. tell you guys what she was going to do. She was not going to vlog this day. Like she came out, beautiful light, business light, everything. And she was not what? going to vlog. I am just telling them. So you people can know she's not lawyer. <laughs> I'm lawyer, lawyer. in life. I'm lawyer. Say hello to the vlog. Bye bye, vlog. I'm sorry. I said to say hello. You say bye bye. <laughs> Del G in the building. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> so we came to this light place in Calgary, downtown Calgary. It has a lot of Christmas lights on different parts of the world. So I'm going to show you guys around. Say hello to the vlog. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Oh yeah, I'm definitely should Say hello to the vlog. Why are you so crying? They lie, she's not crying. <laughs> so I came with the girls. And like I said, different countries with different Christmas decorations. I just taking pictures, it just vibes. There's nothing happening here. We paid like $35 to get in. And they need to refund me my money. But when everybody's done taking pictures, we've used about see see this one. <laughs> Big girl G. <laughs> when we are done. We'll go eat, I believe. Because everybody's hungry, apparently. So today's Sunday, by the way. From church, we... I don't know, but everybody have not eaten. We all have been together since church. Went out, went to change. Went out, changed, and then we are here, so we've not eaten. Hey, stay me now. I'm vlogging, you Ah, people are going to YouTube like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered I've not talking to you guys in a while trying to do um, content for Instagram. I have a brand I'm filming something for, so I thought, let me talk to you while I do my makeup. See, don't mind what I'm wearing. The real clothes is inside, but it's white, so I don't want to mess up my makeup. That's why I'm wearing this on top of it. I don't know what I want to talk to you guys about, but I know I want to say hello to you people. I don't think I've ever done my makeup on camera before. I'm not even sure if you guys can see me. Um, what I want to say to you people. I don't know. Okay, I think I know. Let's talk about Vlogmas. If you don't know, Vlogmas is filming daily vlogs from the beginning of December to Christmas Day. And I really want to do this, but my issue right now is because my issue right now is that I work from home most of the time. Um, so content for vlogmas, creating daily vlogs to Christmas. So my issue right now is I'm working from home most of the time. So there won't be much content to film, like no activity. I'm just going to be in front of my system all day. So how do I show you guys 
what I've been up to when I'm actually not up to anything. Like, I don't know, I'm struggling with that. Such a big deal for me. Because I really want to do this. I really, really, really want to do this. But I don't have anything to do. So what I'm suspecting is that even if I'll be able to vlog, it won't be every day. Like I'll just combine what I do for like a couple of days and then create it into a one day vlog. So maybe I'll do vlogmas the one to five, the vlogmas the six to ten, something like that. I think that will work better actually. That sounds like a better plan than hoping to film every day. Ha ha ha. My bloody joker for that. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do for Vlogmas. Speaking, you see, speaking to you guys, I agree with the idea. Let me finish this makeup. I'm running out of time and I'll see you guys when I am done. Okay, I'm done. So I'll be back when I am done with my. Okay, let's do this. With my content, if you want to see it, go to my Instagram. And if you're not following me, I are you sure you're doing? It? I I what? I, go and follow me. Damn show. Dot sorry dummy dot show d a double m y dot s h o go follow me go follow me go follow me bye bye hi guys i'm sure you guys i forgot to show you when i went to get peppers so i don't know if i vlogged the day that i oh my apologies good evening how you guys doing so i just got back home I, I can't remember if I vlogged the first time I went to buy peppers in September. I bought peppers from somewhere called Crossroad, Cross, Crossroad Market. I can't remember, but I ran out of tomato and tatashi and rodo. So I just emptied one box inside the inside the what they call it. I just emptied one box. I want to wash them and put them away in the freezer. I bought this is a whole box inside this place. Two and then a smaller box. And then I see I have Rodo and I bought some scotch bonnet. I didn't buy Katashe, I didn't buy Shumbo because I have all of that. And I bought um fruits. I bought one, they sold it for one dollar, and because I bought something, I went with my friend. So because we bought quite a number of things, I'd be expensive thing. They gave us discount and they still gave us two boxes. I bought some other things. I bought onions, potato. Do you have to put them away? Do you have to put them away? D Yes. Have you put the um things away? Oh, okay, so Mr. D has put them away, but let's wash the tomatoes. I'm going to wash them a couple of times, like not pick up like two times or three times, so that when I need to use them, I don't have to wash them again. That's what I like to do. So I've done the first washing. Oh my gosh, my new broke. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that a box was, I 
about 65 yeah this two was about 65 and the other one was like 40 I can't remember how but I'm trying to put them away inside all these big Dollarama bags so see the ones that I had in the freezer I put them inside another bag but the trash bag was not strong so it's tough so this one I'm going to put them inside the Dollarama bag and double it so I'm going to blend some actually like the last box not tonight I'll dance tomorrow. I'll blend some of them so that when I want to cook the other fries, I'll blend them and cook so that I'm boiled or that. So that when I want to cook the other fries or something. I don't like to blend my pepper down because it's not jello fries pepper I want to blend away from the roof. I don't like to blend all my peppers down because today I might want to eat smooth food tomorrow. I don't want to eat smooth pepper. Do you guys get me? I know quite a number of people that buy pepper for the year and they blend everything down because of space. Because really, one year supply, one year supply of pepper cannot enter a freezer. Depending on the size. I know depending on the size, but one year supply, that's like and the times where they buy this pepper is usually cheaper like, than this because it's going getting out of season that's why i'm buying this box was like, like 35 pounds or 40 pounds i think 40 pounds for like 60 65 70 so if it's like during august july august september it's usually cheaper than this so when it gets off season it gets more expensive Usually I don't keep this bag though because it's trash but because I know I'm going to buy the person and this is the best bag for the freezer. Yeah. So that's why I kept them. Let's do the second. Please don't be coming in for me. Oh, it's time wrapped. 